All right, guys, have you got a CD stroke DVD drive in your laptop stroke MacBook? Well, as it happens, I've got a MacBook Pro and it has the drive in. However, the way it's positioned on a stand next to the Thunderbolt display, it's a little awkward to get a disc in it. Now, I don't use it very often and obviously there's not a lot of reason to use them anymore. Um, you know, it's all about applications now and things like that. But there is the odd time. Now this says Windows 98 on here, which is uh, getting rather old. Windows 98 setup. Uh, skip. <laughs> um, so let's have a look anyway, guys. So we get USB port uh, cable there, sorry. So yeah, it's got uh, that kind of USB. Right, and then we've got the drive itself and power supply. So you need two cables for this one to run it. So let's have a look. So DVD ROM, compact disc, rewritable, ultra speed. Uh, so yeah, there's your ports on it on the back. There's your power, your USB port there. So uh, let's go and plug it in anyway, guys. Right, guys, so you can see I've got it connected up to the MacBook here. And uh, I'm a little bit, I haven't tried it yet, but I'm a little bit sort of like, will it detect it or not? Because it didn't detect, well, it did, it did detect it. It wouldn't allow me to use um, a plug-in Apple SuperDrive, obviously because it recognizes it as another drive and there's already one in. But I can't always get to that because when it's on my desk, it's normally up against a wall. But if I, okay, it's doing something. I can hear it whizzing and whirring. It's recognized it's there. Power's there, it's spinning up. It'll tell me that there's nothing on the disc. There you go, oh, hang on. Your Apple iCloud music session has expired, I don't care. So basically it's now asking, obviously for me to pick stuff out of here and burn it to the disc. Um, so let's have a look. Yeah, you see the, the drive doesn't show up on the desktop. It's quite a noisy little drive. Uh, but anyway, let's, uh, let's pick, I don't know, three tracks say, something like that. Burn playlist to disc. Uh, so we'll go with audio, so audio CD, gap between songs, two seconds, so obviously you can alter all that. And let's go burn. And there's the disc firing up. And it just means that, uh, you know, for the times that I do use one, I could have this just sitting at the back of the desk. Um, you know, mine's rammed up against a corner, but you could use this obviously in one that doesn't have a drive like your MacBook or whatever. And of course, you know, a MacBook Air or something. And of course you can carry this around uh, and plug it into other machines to uh, transfer files that you've transferred onto a disc. So there you go, guys. Uh, I mean, the, the branding's missing off this one, um, but it was supplied, um, basically it was Shonko it came from. But a uh, big thank you to them for sending it out for review. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers, guys. See you.